The NCAA student athletes and those who represent student athletes have never exactly seen eye to eye, and those issues almost always have to do with money. That's why the NCAA's decision on Wednesday to move further with a plan to compensate college athletes for endorsements is such a big deal. Make no mistake about this, this is a win for college athletes everywhere who, beginning in fall of 2021, would receive compensation for their name, image, and likeness. That includes commercials, ads, personal appearances, social media content, you name it. This unprecedented move does have stipulations, though. There will be no involvement from the NCAA, schools, or conferences in these endorsements. But as New Mexico State Athletic Director Mario Mocha told me, these types of moves are long overdue. When you look at coaches um, and administrators uh, around the country who are making seven and almost eight figures, uh, I think that's what pushed this to happen more than anything. There was just a, a tremendous imbalance, and it's something that, um, you know, while not every student athlete will be able to take advantage of from a popularity standpoint, it's at least something that, you know, the, the, the big schools, the Power Five schools can say, hey, this is what we're doing. With this new legislation comes questions. The biggest detail that has to be worked out is how these sponsorship deals don't turn into recruiting violations. We'll explore that tonight at 10.